creating custom fields for checkout and email lists. I'm here on Naming Boss and I, I'm going to start by creating a new subscriber list. Um, just keep in mind that this also works in case you already have a list. And after we're done with this, we'll go on to the HTML editor where we're going to start configuring the fields onto a checkout. I'm going to start by typing the name of the new subscriber list. And then after you typed all the information regarding the new list, you can hit continue. And here we have a few options, right? So I'm not going to type anything as far as description and tags, because this is not relevant for this tutorial in particular, but we have other videos covering this in depth if you have any doubts. But now I have the option of adding tax feuds, which is extremely, extremely important in order for the whole process to work. I'm first going to label this field as city and I'm going to write the tag as being city all uppercase, okay? I'm going to choose this to be required, but this portion is completely optional. What is extremely important though is the label and the tag, okay? And the tag is the most important part of it because we will have to use this later on. So once you set this up, you just can you can click hit save changes. And then we can edit the email if you want. This is not um, something I'll go in depth in this video. But if you already have a list and want to include new fields, you can just click here on lists, choose the list that you want to work with. Let's say I'm, I'm going to work with the email marketing list. I'm going to hit here, the gear icon, where it says emails slash page configuration. I'm just going to click here on fields. And I have the option of adding a text field just like I previously did. So once this is all done, we can go to the HTML editor inside the Pixel Perfect Builder, where we'll be working next. If I click here on my layouts, I'll be able to see two layouts and you can add a new layout just by clicking the blue button here. I, there are a lot of templates you can choose from and I just, choose, I just chose the blank page template and I named it restricted area, as you guys can see. The bottom layout will work as the restricted area and the top layout will work as the checkout page and it will also have a login button for people who already purchased the access to the restricted area okay i'm here on the default layout and i'm going to start by adding a login button so i can do so by clicking here on the plus icon and if i scroll up actually i see the button here i'm just going to click it and scroll a little bit down until i see the login button okay i can just pick any one of these and i'm just going to pick the dark one I'm going to place it right here and after I've done so, I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to right click and click on action after login. I'm going to choose page and I'll also choose the page home one. I can hit OK here as well. And the reason why I chose that page, it's because it's the page under the restricted area layout. So this is exactly where they'll be sent to after they logged in. OK, so right button here, action after login the page under restricted area okay now I can proceed by clicking here on my layouts clicking here on restricted area clicking on that little arrow and then I can click here to start creating the restricted area I'm just gonna name this restricted area okay I'm gonna click next and I'll, I'll allow users to sign up and access via email and password so I'll hit next again and I want them to access through payment or by manual approval Okay, I'm going to hit next again. And as you guys can see, the list I created will be here. So all I have to do is just click here and leave this clicked in. So if I click next again, I'm just going to choose to do nothing now in terms of checkout because I'll be creating the checkout by myself later in this video. Okay, so I'm going to hit save. And now the restricted area was successfully created. I'm going to click here on these two gears. And I'm going to proceed by clicking on Manage User Registration Fields. I have the option of adding custom fields here, and I'm going to do so by clicking here on Add. I'm just going to write City, just like I wrote when I was creating my list inside Mailing Boss. I'm going to choose this to be required, just like I did on Mailing Boss, and I'm going to use the same tag as I did in Mailing Boss, okay? I'm going to hit Save here and Save again. So every time a user tries to sign up, they have to provide the city they live in, okay? Now I'm gonna go back, click here on my layouts and go back to the main layout, which is the one that uh, will now contain the checkout, okay? Now I'm gonna click here on the plus icon again, scroll down a little bit and click on checkout. And I'm just gonna choose a one-step checkout for the sake of this video. 
you can choose whatever checkout you want. And as you can see, the custom field I created is already here. Okay, and I can right click this, click on change offer. And as you'll be able to see, I have the option of connecting my mailing boss list to this. So I'm just gonna connect the list I created. And if I hit next, so I also have the option of clicking here on members area and linking the offer to that page, okay? I'm just, Once we include the checkout here, we can see that the field we created is already included. And we also have the option of linking the checkout to an a email list. And I can do so by right click clicking here, clicking on change offer. And then I can choose the mailing boss list I want to connect to. In this case, I would choose the list I just created. And I can just hit next. And then um, I can just click here on item and check here on members area to connect this offer to the members area I previously created so that people um, who purchase this offer will have access to the private area, okay?